Hello and welcome to the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sork at Sorgatron on the Twitter, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And obviously, I am not in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm actually up in the uh, Sorgatron Media uh, uh, High Tower offices up here. It is Tuesday morning. Yes, I just finished Raw because life happens. Uh, so I apologize for those that look for our live stream on Monday night. We will be back with that next week. If nothing goes, uh, go, you know, nothing, if nothing goes weird. Uh, so uh, uh, here we are talking raw. So let's get with it. Uh, of course, it is just me, and we're doing it a little differently. I got the snowball mic. I got my. I'm in the office. We're just kind of rolling with it. Um, thoughts on raw? First of all, favorite thing from the night. I you know as I was starting to like post other things and starting to watch raw last night. Like I got a, I got a, a message from uh, one of our listeners that. Um, it felt like nothing happened last night. Uh, and meanwhile, I'm like, I just watched the no mic needed promo from Enzo and Cass. I'm good. It was one of the coolest things I think I've seen on Raw for a while. I uh, did get the crowd into it. Minnesota was on point for that thing. Um, I think that's one of those things that's going to go down as one of the high points for Enzo and Cass's uh, really career, I think, at this point. Um, also, Cesaro and Sheamus. Um, I've seen Cesaro in so many tag teams between with him and Tyson, um, him with in Kings of Wrestling with uh, Chris Hero, him in uh, a part of the BDK at uh, King of Trios when I went in like I think it was like 2010. Um, Cesaro, I think, is a lot of times like the tag team uh, uh, magic that happens when he pairs up with somebody. I think we're seeing that with Sheamus now. That now that they're over the not getting a long part. Uh, these are two badass guys, and whatever you thought of their series and how many matches these guys had, these are two badass guys now doing badass things together. And I think a lot of that excitement and how they went over on on the new day um, um, shows a very bright future for these guys. Um, I'm all right if this becomes a thing and goes for a while. If they just become this giant smash mouth crazy ass team, that's great. Love it. Let's do this. Uh, Jericho versus the gimmicks. I know he ran into a lot of them backstage. Uh, I love that. You know, Jericho's kind of a high-end guy when you kind of think about it, right? And they have him playing with the guys t- selling a timeshare, Titus O'Neil, uh, you know, in the back there. Like, the thread all night. Again, this is the stuff I loved. This is the attitude area thing. Not the, the swearing in the middle fingers, but the... You know, we talk about, is there a story? Are they telling a story out there? And, and, and yeah, they, really, it is. Um, it's something that kept you hooked through the night. And they really need more stuff like that to keep us hooked into a three-hour Raw, right? Like, I want to stick around to see what Jericho does next. And if we find out we're going to have, like, five times Jericho's just going to randomly pop up wandering the back hallways, that keeps me wanting to watch. That absolutely keeps me wanting to, to, to hang on for, for three plus hours of this stuff, right? And that it's a thread through to the main event? Yes! There was so much happening. He lost his list. He found the list. He ran into a bunch of characters. He was like the damn list Wizard of Oz. Show title. Um, great stuff. Uh, tag match, or the three-way match at the end was good. I mean, you know, pretty standard kind of prep for the uh, uh, pay-per-view this weekend with Hell in a Cell. But, works for me. I, I love it. Jericho is... is um, I've often said Suit Jericho is my favorite, but man, is this Jericho, is Scarf Jericho making headway. When he says the part with Titus and the, and the scarf, great moment. Um, the progressiveness of women's arm wrestling. Yes, even though we are getting the highs in the highs of our women in Hell in a Cell. By the way, tremendous contract signing. Unbelievable. Mick Foley making the... And Mick Foley's the guy to do it, right? To make the the plead of, do you really want to do this? Is this worth it? Is this worth your legacy, your health, right? Uh, then we have women's arm wrestling. <laughs> but I, I'm wondering if maybe there was somebody hurt and maybe this was a kind of last call on something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But um, it, it is what it is. Uh, this is just some, you know, placeholder stuff really for Bailey. So we'll see where this goes. Uh, Cruiserweight match. Man, they showed 
Brian Kendrick from when he was in before. Holy crap, is he a different person? Uh, that that that's really all I had from the cruiserweights. Um, was like, wow, Brian Kendrick is a, just so different. Like you looking, you're looking at him in 2009, and just like, and then it goes to the shot of him, and just like the wild eyes that he has now are just incredible. Like I, you can't teach that. There's something inside of you that does something like that. So, um, like I mentioned, the contract signing, Brock Lesnar. Did they just come out there, do part of a promo, and then let the crowd take over and walk away? Like, like, did that really just happen? But, I don't know. Uh, either way, uh, I was out of this Raw. Now, I did watch Raw kind of in post uh, because of my schedule last night. So, really, it took, I don't know, what, what is Raw without commercials? It's not the 90 minutes on Hulu, I know that. Uh, Raw, Raw was probably around, like, 2 two and a half hours i guess without commercials it's gotta be a little shorter than that but uh given that and given the the the, the regular time uh the, i mean really the worst thing i think i saw last night was although i realized that i completely blanked on what happened during the Sami Zayn braun Strowman match what did happen there i'll have to go back to that probably anyways um anyways somebody fill me in on that one <laughs> uh, either way, I think it was a solid two and a half. I would even bump it up to 245. Two hours and 45 watchable of Raw last night. Let us know what you thought was watchable. Let us know your thoughts on Raw. And, of course, we have Wrestling Mayhem Show, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com, Tuesday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern, after SmackDown Live. And uh, we actually have a special. We're going to be doing an interview at 8.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Time with The Rev. We're probably going to do that just on the Facebook Live, so please follow the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Or I'm going to say Facebook and Facebook group. Uh, the Facebook will have the live stream. You'll get notifications when we do go live for that. Uh, also, interviews coming up this week with the guy that runs the Indie Wrestling Life that I've been really captivated with on Twitter lately. A uh, really good kind of motivational indie wrestling kind of account so please check it out let us know your thoughts join the facebook group for wrestling mayhem show at mayhem show on twitter i'm at sorgatron keep it raw